Well, it's a very rainy day in Vancouver, so it's a perfect day for brewing beer. In this video, I want to talk about how to use the hot liquor tank as a in a Herms type system, a heat exchange recirculating mash system, in order to control the the mash temperature. So what we have here is the Bruja mash tun and the Bruja hot liquor tank and we have the port out of the bottom of the mash tune coming from underneath the mash screen coming out the bottom into the chugger pump and it's being put into the heat exchange coil that's wound around inside the hot liquor tank. So the wort's going to come into this coil, go down to the very bottom, wind its way around to the top of the coil, picking up heat from the water inside the hot liquor tank and then it's going to come out of this valve and this valve is going to uh, throttle the control of the flow and it's going to go back into the uh, top arm of the mash tune and recirculate through. So you get it, see how it comes through this path constantly moving back through. The other feature in the hot liquor tank that you need to use is you're going to have the thermowell, you're going to have a, a, a Ranko thermostat controlling the electricity going to the electric heating element in the back of the pot. As is the case with all brew hot pots, if you don't want to use the electric heating element, you just cap off the port and you can use an electric burner or a propane stove, however you want to heat the water. I use this system because it's super precise and you can walk away from it and know that your temperature is not going to climb too high. So with this system, very simply, is you take your Ranko thermostat, the electric probe, you stick it around into the uh, thermowell which is just a, a tube basically that sticks into the kettle and you program the temperature. If you set it at 66 Celsius or 150 something Fahrenheit, you just program it and it automatically turns the temperature on to or the electricity to the heating element and if ever the temperature drops below a certain set point it shuts the element off. So the ward is constantly going through the hot liquor tank absorbing the heat, the 65 or 66 or whatever the temperature you program it at and it's constantly being warmed up in there and cycling back into the mash tune so it precisely regulates the temperature of your mash. Pretty straightforward. The only other thing that I wanted to talk about is in the bottom of the mash tune we also have another electric port um, for a heating element and the thermo well as well for controlling that. Um, you might want to consider getting, even if you use the Herm system in the hot liquor tank, you might want to consider getting a second heating element in the bottom of the mash tune and just letting it sit idle until you're ready to mash out. When you mash out, you then start controlling, you set your, your mash out temperature to 75 Celsius or wherever you want it. And then as the wort is coming out, you move this fitting over into your boil kettle and, uh, or, or this hose so that the wort goes from the mash tune into the boil kettle now and that heating element uh, underneath the mash screen heats that wort as it's leaving up to 75 Celsius. The benefit of doing this, instead of using the hot liquor tank to mash out, is that if you're running that, that increasingly hot wort through your grain bed, there's an increased chance as the temperature rises that you're going to be getting tannins and other undesirable uh, chemicals coming out of the grain as the temperature rises and into your wort, which you don't want to happen. If you just use the element under the mash screen at the bottom to raise your temperature as it comes out, there's no risk of doing that because the wort is heated up and immediately goes into the boil kettle where it accumulates uh, waiting for you to start the boil. So that's this system. If, as always, if you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to contact us using the, uh, contact, the, the form on the contact us page or on the about us page as well. Thanks very much.